In the chilly waters of the Atlantic Ocean, off the coast of Maine, the little skate has lived a relatively quiet existence. A species of fish with little appeal to commercial fishermen, which spends most of its time on the ocean bottom, hidden in the sand. On the outside, we seem to have nothing in common, as different as any two creatures could be. But on the inside, we're surprisingly similar to the little skate. As far as we know, so far the closest genome, uh, comparative-wise, is the human genome. They have a lot of personality. They're really cool. They're really a lot of fun. For years, scientists here have been studying the little skate with its distinctive smile. Kind of has a little happy face under there. Anxious to understand more about our ancestors. We share many of our genes with these animals. All life on the planet arose from a common ancestor probably uh, three, four billion years ago. And so we have many of the same genes as, as an organism like a skate. One gene in particular has held their attention, a gene that allows the little skate to regenerate. They discovered the skate could completely regrow body parts as an adult. It begged the question, says Mount Desert Island director Kevin Strange, if we share a common ancestry with the little skate, why don't we have the same ability? Humans, you and I, don't do a very good job of regenerating uh, much of anything. If your heart is damaged or your kidney is damaged, that's pretty much it. It stays damaged. Uh, if you lose a limb, you don't grow it back. These primitive organisms, these organisms that are viewed as being simpler than us, actually do a very, uh, very superb job of it. They're really champions at regenerating body parts, organs, tissues, etc. And so a big question in the field that this laboratory uh, specializes in is how and why did this process of regeneration evolve? When did it first sort of show up in the evolutionary scheme of things? And how and why through evolutionary time has it been lost? Why is it that mammals, humans, have lost this ability? Why can't a skate or another primitive type of fish regenerate its body parts? If one knew at what point humans lost their ability to regenerate limbs, uh, because it seems that it was conserved back at the time of the little skate, that perhaps that could play a role in helping us to inform injury and whatnot in humans. Of course, all of this is far in the future, but it raises many possibilities and questions. What exactly would it mean for human beings? In the case of an amputation, could we literally regrow a limb? If we could understand how they're turned on, and off in a simple organism or more primitive organism to uh, induce regeneration of a body part, can we then go and do that uh, in human beings to enhance wound healing or improve regeneration of tissues and body parts that have been damaged? Or after a heart attack, instead of growing scar tissue, could we grow new heart tissue? That is the idea, is that we'll be able to therapeutically uh, in, induce the heart to repair itself. That would be the dream. <laughs> that would be the overall vision.